Hey folks, it's Tom, your frugal prepper. We are going to try to work to get this balance shaft chain in place today and to get this balance shaft on. I'm sure you can hear my noisy heater in the background, uh, but it is cold, cold outside today. Like 8 degrees out there, or it's going to get down to 8 degrees. So, uh, I've got all the heaters running, the kerosene, the propane, the electric, everything. So, uh, what I'll show you what we're going to do. I covered this briefly in kind of a garage update a little bit ago. But I'm going to cover what we're going to be doing here uh, to get this chain in place. Okay, so for those who didn't see my garage update where I talked about this problem, is I have this chain here. It needs to go around this rocket on the crankshaft. And this drives the balance shaft assembly. This chain should have went on before I dropped the crank in and just kind of hung out there while I put everything together. Um, but I didn't do that. So rather than trying to take the whole engine back apart, take all the pistons back out and everything, what I'm going to do is take this main cap off completely, number five, at the back of the engine. Then we're just going to loosen the others and let this crank down a little bit then I'll find some kind of a plastic cover or something to put over the chain and we'll slip it in around that crank what I'll do is once I get this cap off um, I'll get these all kind of broke loose I'll leave a couple of them snug we'll flip the engine over and I'll do the rest from underneath so that gravity works in my favor and just drops that crank down a little bit so let me get some tools and we'll get started Alright, so the first thing is I'm just going to break loose all of these uh, uh, mains and we'll go from there. Alright, so those are broke loose. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is i got to take this end cap off completely. So I'll loosen both of these all the way out. I'm going to just take this cap out of the way. I think number four is one that's going to stay snug for now. Um, and then I want to take out number three completely because it's got the thrust bearing Ow. okay so three is out this one we can leave snug, this one leave snug. This one we'll just kind of take down here. Leave a couple, make sure it's got a good couple threads holding it. And then these two are just going to kind of stay a little snug. And then we're going to roll this engine on over so we can drop this crank. I'll get reset up to show you this from the bottom. Alright, so as you can kind of see here is um, the crank and everything. I've got the pistons all about halfway down. That gives them plenty of room to drop a little without risking any uh, rings coming through the bottom, which would be a nightmare. Um, although I don't even know if they have enough clearance to do that on this motor. But uh, I've already got this cap here on this end, right here loose. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start taking these other ones loose and try to drop this crank down a little. Definitely did because it's, it's tied up against it on this side now. These bolts.
That just simply isn't going to be enough to slip a chain through there. I'll show you. See if you can see what I'm talking about here. So, I've got that slip about as far down as I can, and it's just simply not going to be enough to get a chain up around that bearing, I don't think. So, I have a backup plan. Let's flip this motor back over. So, my backup plan is just go ahead and take all these caps off, and then we're going to lift the crank up a little, and... Uh, just like when I assembled it, I'm going to put some towels around here to kind of protect it. I'm just going to crimp some vice grips onto these uh, counterweights. Kind of help pull this crank up and out of the way a little bit. See if I can slip the chain in there that way. I'm going to take these caps all loose and out of here. Set them in order. Okay, now let me get some shop towels and some vice grips. Okay, so I'm just going to start We're going right here around this crank rail, right up against the block. Get it snug, but not too crazy snug. I don't want to damage anything. And then we'll do this one next, right here on this counterweight. Kind of double the towel up. I think I might have enough to get that chain in there now. So I've got this crank lifted up right here now. We'll see if I can get that chain to slide in there now. Here we go. She's in. All right, so now I just gotta carefully lower this crank back down and get everything put back in place. All right, I'm just gonna put a couple drops of oil in these journals. I'll try to wipe them off, make sure they're as clean as they can be here. Just try to keep things as clean as possible. I'm dropping this guy back down. You know, drop right in place. It's pretty easy, please. What I'll kind of do is re clean off my bearing surfaces here with the towel. Put another drop of lube on all of them. So I'm basically just going to lube and clean and, and put all my main caps back on and retorque everything. I think we've been through the whole torque procedure in previous videos. Um, you guys don't need to watch that all again. And then uh, we'll be back here to start getting this balance shaft assembly put in.